morning, and welcome to another episode. It's been uh, way overdue, but I thought I'd do a little morning thingy, majiggy. Today, we're going to learn about basic NES hacking. Hacking ROMs. Hacking the games. I'm going to try this new thing I'm doing, which is a screencast. I guess you call it a screencast, but let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to use this emulator called FCEUX. And this will have all the tools we'll need to do some basic hacking. So, if you look up here, you have a debug menu option. And we're going to open up a debugger. Basically, the debugger will show you all of the assembly code breaks and commands. And we can actually stop on certain ones that we want to change to modify the game. So let's just open up Castlevania. I found this is a game that's fairly easy and it's good to uh, hack when you're doing this for the first time. I've only done this a couple times, so bear with me. Now, while the game's running, we can open up the hex editor. It has several views. The nest memory is the live memory of the NES. Shows us everything that's happening in real time. But the view memory and the ROM file. For now we'll just look at the NES RAM, the memory of the NES. And we can actually type in values here, and we'll see changes happening in the game. So, for example, a good thing to look for, or to start with, is uh, games with timers, because they're consistent, consistently counting down. And then if you browse through your code here, you're just looking for any of these changes that are counting down in equal increments of the NES second. Oh, so right here. It looks like that matches our tens place in our timer. So I'm just going to type in 99 after I click on it. And we're going to watch this here to see if it changes. 99. Yeah, so our timer changed. Let's give ourselves 5,000 seconds. Or why not even go 10,000 seconds. Okay, so the other thing we can look for, which is right next to it, just start like typing in stuff. But what, like, what is this 40 exactly? Let's do 99. Okay, that didn't do anything. What about this 40? Let's we'll do 99. Um, so that killed me when I put 99 here. Try 50. And look at that. Our power gauge actually went up in this value that we changed to 99 before that didn't change. Changed along with our power values. Can we, can we do 60? How about 70? Can we go up to 80? Timer up to 
ten grand. And go get some zombies. Bums. Yeah, the screen capture will be a little crunchy. actually get hit and have a decrease. Yep, so our counter's going down. Seems weird though, it's like skipping every other one. myself a whole bunch of time. A whole bunch of time. Now, I want to show you what the hex editor can do. You know, we can probably do some of these hacks and stuff in the game, Genie, but it's funner to do it in code. Okay, so we know this is our power. And when we get hit, so I'm gonna right click on this value and we're gonna add a breakpoint in the hex editor that is a right value. So basically when the NES writes this memory block or attempts to write it, the program will pause and show us the line of code that is executing that change. So we're going to be looking for a write. Okay, so this is the line of code that the Nintendo is about to change. It's going to store a value of 30, but we don't want it to store any value so we can make ourselves, well, invincible. So we're going to look for this 8545 inside. I'm going to change our view to our ROM file. We're going to do edit. We're going to do find. We're going to do 85 space 45. We're going to go next. Pull our hex editor up here. Now, I know by default, and this is the only command that I know currently because I'm new to this, is in our ROM file. We're at our location that we've searched for that matches our write command. I'm going to type in EA, EA. The EA would be a null operation or no operation. I'm going to change this back because when we make changes here, it should reflect here automatically. So I know this is the wrong piece of code and I don't want to mess up the game in a way that is, you know, unplayable or I don't know what, what I'm changing. Five, five. We're going to just look for the next one. Here's one. Let's try to change it to no operation, EA, EA. That didn't do anything. Go to the next one. Here's one, so we'll go EA, EA. That didn't change either. Oops. Next, let's see if this one will change for us. EA, EA. No. Next. EA, EA. 
not working for me. Which one is it? I want this one. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Like I said, I am new to this. Yeah. Let's just change all of them. Yeah, yeah. Here, but next. Okay, now it says no operation. Sorry that took so long. So basically, I just went in willy nilly and changed all of those 8545s to no operation, which is the EA hexadecimal. And now we're just going to continue by pushing run. Hopefully, this won't decrease when we get hit. So now we have invincibility. Okay, sorry for the boring debugging here. It is only 7.30 in the AM. Alright, that's the basics for that. I'm gonna do a bunch of short videos, I guess, and we will, uh, you know, that's just the beginning, so we'll consider that good to go. I'm gonna stop here before you get too bored and maybe release a couple of these every week along with my normal videos, so that would be cool. I'll just do like a uh, series of Ness hacks. Uh, delete my breakpoint, close my debugger. So I know this is very basic for now. I may have been very unclear with the stuff, but you know, give me some feedback. Um, it is early in the morning and I just wanted to get another video out because the last one I did was on April Fool's Day, which is my NES repair, which was ridiculous. Um, all right, thanks for watching and maybe I'll be more awake next time. See you later. Cheerios.